Hey, Rudy Bronson here. Thanks for tuning into the show. Tonight we're going to be doing Trinidad and Tobago Part 2, but before we get to that, some of our viewers wanted me to make some adjustments to some of the statements I made in the last video, so here we go. Now, Trinidad was discovered in 1498, not 1492. Trinidad is the home of the steel pan, not the steel drum. And roti is not pronounced roti, it's pronounced roti. And Carib beer is not pronounced Carib beer, it's pronounced Carib beer. Okay, some of our other viewers now wanted me to talk a little bit more about the interactions that I've had with the Trinidadians. And let me tell you, Trinidadians are the greatest people on the planet. So the first thing that happened was that my father-in-law was doing some renovations to his house. So he sent me to Grosvenor's Hardware at the Crazy in El Socorro to get some paint tape. So I walk into the store and there's a paint tape on the wall. I go directly to the guy sitting behind the counter reading the newspaper. I say, sir, could I have that paint tape, please? He looks at me and he says, I can't sell you nothing because I'm Grosvenor not here. So I was like, okay, well, <laughs> the paint tape's $8.95. I have a $10. You won't need to give me any change. And uh, you know, you could tell Mr. Grosvenor that you made a sale. He looks at me and he goes, Why did you hang me, you know? I tell you, I can't sell you nothing because I'm Grosvenor not here. So I was like, well, okay, well, um, maybe you could direct me to another hardware store that I could go purchase the same paint tape. So he looks at me and he goes, yeah, 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 I'm um, Queen's Hardware across the street, check them now. I was like, okay, I hop across the street, Queen's Hardware, walk in, boom, there's the paint tape on the wall. Walk right up to the gentleman, sir, I'd like to purchase that paint tape. Puts it down, yeah, $30. I was like, what, $30? I just left Grover's Hardware right across the street. The same paint tape is like eight ninety five. He looks at me and he goes, "What does look like Grover's Hardware to you?" I was okay. Look, now look. I really needed the paint tape, so I paid the thirty bucks for it. No big deal. Now anyway, let's talk about food now. I went to Sandy Granny, and I tried this soup called cow tail soup. Wow. They put something in it called a dragon pepper, and they get it from uh, Mayaro. I think it is in the south part of the country. It's the hottest pepper on the planet. Now, if it's cooked properly, you don't taste that. You just get the smell of spice. So I'm looking at the guy cooking the soup, and I'm, he's putting a lot of these peppers into the soup. So I'm saying, hey, uh, hey, uh, sir, you know, <laughs> that sure is an awful lot of peppers you're putting into the soup. He looks at me and he goes, Come on, pepper up, uh, feel good. Well, he's right. Apparently, if you cook the, the, the pepper in the soup and don't allow it to open, it just gives you these beautiful flavors. You don't have the, the heat of a habanero or, 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 or the, the acidity of a jalapeno or let's say a serrano pepper. So, I mean, you, you, you've got to try this. It is incredible. And, and of course, the dragon pepper is only indigenous to Trinidad, so you have to go there to try it. So, thanks for tuning in and, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, Rudy still got it. So, uh, it's, um, yeah, yeah, uh, Lights, camera, action, and I will see you on set. <laughs> yeah!